Close. I'm Karen Greer. Breaking right now, a united front fights the pandemic's impact here in Georgia. Within the last hour, both Governor Kemp and Health Commissioner Dr. Kathleen Toomey announcing the next steps being taken to keep us all safe. Our Adam Murphy outside the state capitol with the very latest. You were there at that news conference. Very interesting comments about some of the things going on right now, Adam. A lot of new information we want to share with you. The governor actually talked about all of this today under the Gold Dome here inside the state capitol. He pointed out how COVID cases are down 32% over the last two weeks and hospitalizations have dropped a third in the past seven days. Now the governor and Dr. Toomey once again encouraged Georgians to get out and get vaccinated. He also outlined the particulars for the booster shots. They said the booster shots are available around the state for those 65 and older, and they're also available to anyone over the age of 18 with underlying health issues. Plus, healthcare workers and teachers would be eligible. Now that said, Dr. Toomey pointed out the booster shot is not mandatory, and therefore there's no need to frantically rush to get one right now, especially if you've already been vaccinated. While state leaders support the idea of COVID vaccines, the governor did say he is prepared to push back on a federal vaccine mandate out of the Biden White House. This is just unnecessary federal government overreach. And it's not just that it's about the vaccine mandate, it's just unnecessary federal overreach that I personally don't think anybody that's a business person wants. And I've heard that from large businesses that it's gonna take weeks and months to even try to implement something like this. You're, you're talking about companies that have hundreds of thousands of employees to other companies that were taking a different tack to try to get their employees vaccinated. Now, in closing, Dr. Toomey did encourage pregnant women to get vaccinated, which coincides with a recommendation from the CDC. And Dr. Toomey also pointed out it is safe to go ahead and get your flu shot and a booster shot or vaccine all at the same time. We'll have more on this development coming up later today on CBS 46, beginning at 4 o'clock. Live outside the state capitol, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.